native interfaces allow developers to invoke platform native methods, functions, libraries, and even widgets directly from within Codename One without having to adapt your code to every platform. They are a very powerful tool when bridging between Codename One and OS specific features to access functionality that might not yet be exposed in the Codename One platform. The first step is creating an interface that extends native interface. The methods that you define here will be generated to the various native platforms. Notice that you can only use very specific types for arguments and return types specifically. Primitive types, arrays of primitive types, strings, and pair component. Once you define your native interface, you can right-click and generate the actual native code. This will create the appropriate native code in the native directories, including Objective-C code in the iOS directory, Java Dalvik code in the Android directory, c -sharp code in the Windows Phone directory, and Java SE code in the Java SE directory. You can now implement the native interfaces. For every platform by default, we create an is supported method, a native interface to allow you to ignore a specific platform. If you wish to make use of a jar or an iOS static library, you can just put these libraries in the appropriate native directory next to the native sources and then just use the library as if it is included. Notice that the native interface implementation doesn't implement the actual native interface definition, except for the case of Java SE. This is because the server needs to bridge the native interface calls during build. However, in the case of Java SE, we need to load the compiled class locally without a build server. So this is a special case. You can use the native interface from code very easily. Just look up the native interface type and you shall receive a new implementation instance if it's available. It's good practice to check if a native interface is supported before invoking it to avoid a case where a specific platform isn't implemented. Some platforms need additional build hints in order to support various native code requirements. For instance, iOS often needs the build argument iOS add libs to include additional frameworks, and Android sometimes needs manifest changes via the build hints. These things are pretty easy to debug and customize if you use the include sources option of codename one. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching.